Hey guys, my name is Luke, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use 32-bit plugins on a 64-bit host. So, um, a lot of people have been having trouble with this, and, uh, I figured I might as well create a tutorial for it on how to fix it. So, I'm going to need to go to jstuff.wordpress.com and buy jbridge for Windows or jbridge uh, for Mac OS X. Um, you can also have a trial version, which is what I'm using. Wait, no, 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 I'm not. Um, you can probably find a torrent for it. I do not support that, but you can. Um, and we're going to want to just open up jbridger. Oh yeah, you're going to want to open it with the administrator capabilities. So you're going to want to right click it, run as administrator, click yes. I'll be using a 64-bit host. Um, just leave all loads normal. Create bridging files inside a directory, I'll specify. Scroll down. To VST plugins in just here, normal VST plugins uh, folder. Click on it and then hit OK. And then your destination directory, which I put in bridged VSTs. So you can hit OK. Please wait, analyzing files. And it should do this for a little while. And if you have a uh, few errors, just leave them be. Because, um, most likely, it mean, they mean nothing. Or, um, they're just not really. Oh, what are they? Yep. Uh, hit yes, hit OK. Hit OK. Um, so you just want to pretty much OK through everything. And then you're going to want to right click Ableton Live 9 or whatever your VST host is. Go into compatibility, run this program as an administrator, and hit apply. So click uh, make sure it's checked, apply, OK. And then you run your VST host, whether it be FL Studio, Ableton, um, Cubase, whatever. Sorry if you can hear birds out here. Um, I'm filming this outside. I'm just on my laptop outside. I just like to do that when I make music. I don't know why. I just do. So when Ableton opens... There's also another method for uh, Logic Pro X, which is using 32 lives. And if you guys want one, a, a tutorial for that, I can definitely do that. But you're going to want to go into plugins, and then right in here, there should be all the plugins that are bridged dot .64. So that means that it's converted to 64-bit. So if we drag that onto the MIDI, So it's it works just like normal. Um, every plugin does, and it works perfectly fine. Um, I don't think that this works on Windows 8 because I tried it on my Windows 8 computer and did and it did not work. So yeah. <laughs> um, it works on Windows 7, I'm sure of it, though. Um, massive bridged works. Um, for some reason, there's two silents. And it works with any plugin. Camel Fat, Nexus, 
um, you know, Creative Filter, um, Morphox, anything like that, um, it works perfectly normal. So, thanks so much for watching. If you got some use out of this, uh, please check out my SoundCloud. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. That'd be great. And uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.